So Adobe After Effects. In this video, you'll be finding out whether you should be going with Intel or AMD, what is the best upgrade path, what is the best bang for buck CPU for After Effects, and what is the best CPU for Adobe After Effects. So a few very important things before we're gonna get into the analysis and things. First of all, all the links for the recommended CPUs I have for you guys, they're linked in the description below. So if you wanna check that out, they will be all linked down there. Big thanks to Puget Systems, who's doing all these analysis and testing all these CPUs, absolutely fantastic. If you wanna see the original articles and things like that, I'll leave a link below as well. And thirdly, I wanna talk about all the CPUs that are coming out this year. I know you're saying, what about Intel's 11th gen or, you know, AMD Ryzen Threadripper 5000 series and all that sort of things. If you wanna go down that route, you'll never be satisfied. You'll never be happy because there's always a new thing around the corner or just about to be launched. So we are looking at the Ryzen 5000 series and Intel's 10th gen and 3000 series Threadrippers and Ryzen 3000 series. So these are CPUs that are out there, they're launched, you're able to buy them depending on the stock, but they're out there. Whatever's being released this year, who knows when the stock will be available. So they're kind of out of this equation, okay? So let's start. First of all, I wanna start with the question of which one is better, Intel or AMD? Which system should you be going for? And to answer that question very simply and fast, you should go with AMD system because I think you've got a better upgrade path I'll show you in a moment and for the same price unless Intel drops the prices a lot you're gonna get much more price to performance ratio from AMD so as you can see similarly priced systems over here you can see that our Ryzen 5 compared to Intel 10 600k is about 16% better they're roughly the same price range over here 10 900k versus Ryzen 7 5800x is 9% and 10 900k versus a 5900x which is slightly more expensive is 41% better that is a lot of performance improvement and the Intel's X series processors rise nine here again 38% better so as you can see AMD is better for price to performance ratio as well as the upgrade path in the system so if you're looking here you can see a lot of prices and all the CPUs we have lined up over here everything that's the same color can be upgraded within its platform so you can see Intel light blue and dark blue, they are different platforms and you can't upgrade within itself. All the Ryzen platforms here from the bottom to all the way to the top of the price range, all of these can be upgraded. And there's loads more of previous generations that can be put on the same platform as well. Only the Threadripper on the top over here is different on the Ryzen system, different system, different platform. So in terms of upgradability in the Ryzen system, there's much more. You can go with like last gen or second generation or even first generation of Ryzen to just get started and then look all the upgrade path you have for Ryzen system or AMD system. So this is the overall score, but before we're gonna look at the overall system, I wanna show you something else, that the other parts of After Effects are the same. Tracking score. We can see that on the top over here, we have our Ryzen 9s, and these are just normal Ryzen without Threadrippers. They're all performing quite a bit better than the last gen Ryzen's over here. And then we have Intel on the very bottom here, mostly in 10900K over here. As you can see, the processors they are not worth getting for the price you get for the performance but as you can see tracking score the best one is 5950x then we have 5900x and then 5600x over here and 5800x in the middle over here then we have the render score so that is basically if you you know export something or rendering out or things like that obviously the 5950x is the best one in the system because 16 cores and it just performs quite a bit better over here, but only at a few little percent, and then 5900X is right there. Now, the Threadrippers are on the top of the chart over here. You'll see in a moment, in the rest of the applications, it doesn't make any sense, only the render score is better on the Threadripper, so if you're doing a lot of the rendering, then maybe get a Threadripper, but still, look, 5900X and 5950X are better processors, and they cost less than the Threadripper system. You can get probably the whole system of 5900X compared to this 32 core processor that costs like four grand on its own, which is quite mental. And then RAM preview as well. 
so this is where you render anything out all the frames will be saved on ram so you can see over here as well our processes solidly perform on the top of the charts and then we have intel come in here second and then threadripper processes and then the rest of the things so now the overall score and i'm gonna pick out one processor over here that is going to be like the baseline of our system and what i would also consider the best bang for buck system over here or the processor look at this one over here it's ryzen 5 5600x it's a six core processor and it costs over here 299 dollars msrp and it performs essentially the same as our previous generation ryzen 3950x 16 core and threadripper 24 core and it is significantly cheaper as you can see like the performance difference is within like one percent or something like that so you will not see the performance gain if you go any of these processors lined up here the Threadripper or this uh, Ryzen 9 as you can see this one over here performs very top of the charts okay and now looking below like what what does it outperform it performs out Intel Intel 10900k it even outperforms the uh, Ryzen 9 30 9900 XT which is quite a bit expensive more expensive as well $200 more expensive and it outperforms that and then further down we have our thread rippers and Ryzen 7s and then Intel X processors over here down here they are not very good price to performance value so there's no reason really to go with these processors and the rest of them as you can see these kind of become irrelevant if you look at the price to performance on this processor it's got very good single core performance and that is what I think you should go with the best bank for book obviously you can find some previous generation things and previous generation like the uh, 36 100 XT over here but this Ryzen if you can get it for 300 pounds it is absolutely fantastic system I'm gonna leave the rest of the system still out here because you know you you can see where the price is going to be and where the prices change you might want to go up for something previous generation to save even more money by the way this 3600 XT versus the X variant of it is only maybe 1% difference in After Effects if you can't find a 3600 XT feel free to go with the 3600 X and there will be different over there although the 3600 XT versus 3600 there is probably about 5% difference so I wouldn't go with that one but either of these are pretty good processes to get so the best bang for buck I would go with is 5600x over here next off I would go with 5900x which is over here and the reason for that is that first of all there is quite a big jump from this uh, 5800x 8 core to 12 core as you can see there is a roughly around 80 70 points difference on this not just that the Ryzen 5800x runs really hot now i did recently one of those red and black builds on my channel and that processor just runs really really hot which means that it's uh, you know prone to thermal throttle sometimes or if you do a lot of rendering it's the core boost clocks are going to come down because it just runs like 80 plus degrees doesn't matter which cooler you have it just runs very very hot so i kind of would skip this one to all creators there's a video coming out soon about it like why this is bad but i would skip that one and then go with this 12 core processor because it runs cooler it is better it's better in other applications as well so that is fantastic and then over here the next one like the best processor if you're asking what is the best processor for adobe after effects it is currently the 5950x ryzen 9 over here and it's only about 1.8 percent better than our ryzen 12 core over here so it is not really necessary or even doesn't make sense for me unless you just i want the best what is out there so let me pull out the conclusion over here and we're talking about a little bit of the percentage what is the gain over here so our best bang for buck would be the 5600x processor Ryzen and if you want to get something previously to that as well there's a few options out there loads of options it's the same system that's fantastic now the next upgrade I would go is the 59 100x compared to the 5600x over here we're getting around 15 percent performance increase and we're paying roughly around 250 dollars extra which is quite a bit performance gain and not too much extra either and if you're doing any other applications that 5900x is like on the top of almost everything and everything so it is fantastic processor by the way stay tuned if you want to see one of those builds i've got an amazing one coming up and and then the third one like the best one over there is the ryzen 5950x processor which costs 
800 pounds and is 1.8% better than the 58900X over here or compared to the 5600X it is 16.7% or 16. 8% better roughly um, compared to the 5600X. I wouldn't really upgrade from 5900X to 5950X because you won't see the performance increase that much. So if you already have this second option, that is the best bank for buck pro option. Conclusion, get the 5600X if you want to start off. It's fantastic process. I know $300 or pounds is still quite a bit expensive for a lot of people, but feel free to get the 3600X or one of those processors, even previous generation that will be better. I would stick with third gen Ryzen because the second gen Ryzen is performing quite a bit uh, worse on uh, the Adobe After Effects because the single core performance isn't as good as the third gen. Then the next bang for buck pro option over there I would say is the 5900X which is 15% better compared to the 5600X and as you can see it is even more than 15% better than the Ryzen 9 3900XT or 3900X which is quite a bit of an increase and the obviously best one for this program is the 5950X but I don't see any reason why you should upgrade from 5900X to 5950X so that is the conclusion these are the best bank for book pros processes for Adobe After Effects. Links for all these processes are in the description below. Feel free to check out some other build options on my channel if you want to build like a different system for yourself then feel free to check out any of those Ryzen builds I have and pop in this processor and there you go. By the way if you want me to check out any other pr uh, program or do a little conclusion on any other programs feel free to comment below what program should I do next. Like the video if you found it helpful subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much guys for watching see you soon bye bye.